Hey guys, so today we're going to be working on a martial arts drill, mixed martial arts drill that's very applicable for the street, right? So Max is going to throw a jab at me and I'm going to slip the jab. I'm just going to slip, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to slip that jab, right? And then he's going to throw a hook at me with this in and I'm going to roll under that hook. All right, so I'm going to slip the jab and roll the hook up. Slip the jab, roll the hook, and then I'm going to try to rush into him. I want to get to his side, right? I want to get here. From here, I'm going to get a nice grip on him. I can, if I can, ideally, maybe I want to get one arm in and get it, I guess you call that an overhook on the arm. From here, I'm going to pick him up and try to slam him onto the deck. If I can't slam him onto the deck, I'm at least going to get a good hold of him try to slam him and then maybe I have to go into something else, sweep his foot or something, right? But it's going to look like this. So Max, jab, hook, I'm going to flip that jab, I'm going to roll the hook, and I'm going to get on the inside now. So I'm, in this case, I'm to his rear and he can't hit me anymore, right? He might try to headbutt me back, right? So I'm going to keep my head tucked onto his back to like, like this, right? Now if I can, in an ideal world, I'm going to pick him up, use this knee to kind of sweep and bring him down to the mat. He might not, again, he might not go to the mat, that's good. He's not supposed to. So I pick him up, he doesn't go. All right, shit, I've got to work something else. Maybe I trip him here and we both fall down. Or maybe I just come here and I go into something else with a rear naked choke or a Japanese strangle, as fair room we call it. But the important part is that we drill this. Jab, uh, so I slip the jab, I come here, and I get on the, on the inside and then ultimately to the rear. From there, I try to get that mat return if I can, in this case I did, right? We both go to the ground. Notice how Max posts up here and here, and he's ready to bend too. So Max, I want you to just go straight forward, right? Get the fuck out. So that's what it's gonna look like. Um, Brian, you wrestled? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use you. Pick me up and try to slay me on the ground. And I'm here, right? I'm posting up. And I'm getting on my hands and knees, but notice I'm not posting here with my elbow locked out. I'm coming here and I'm using that impact and I absorb it through my palm, right? But I'm not locking out my elbow. I'm bending it as I come here. So one more time. Oh shit. And I bend it here, right? Now I'm ready to go into something else. Maybe he's still standing up. And I come here with like an ankle pick. I can come here, slice in straight ankle lock, chop down into the face, something like that. But the point is, the point is that when you get slammed like that, it's really important to remember, I want here. And I want loose, not locked out. Here, not here. We're gonna break our shit here, all right? So guys, for you at home, train that. If you can, if you got a partner. If not, even you can train it solo, right? Oh shit. <laughs> and train that mat return uh, defense. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. You guys ready to train? Sure. Yep.